Jesus, that's a huge spider. Okay. Ah, this thing's huge. Oh my God, there's like five spiders on me. Get the off of me. What the hell is going on? Oh, ah, they're everywhere. All in the bandito. Woo. Oh yeah. Chick-fil-A 6 as well. <laughs> what up guys, eventful morning. John B and I got up extremely early to beat this rush hour traffic. That's like a Honda Grump. We're over here at these soccer fields. The gates are closed. This place says it's open at 6. About a half an hour from now. We're thinking maybe go grab some coffee. Let's hit Chick-fil-A. They open about half an hour from now. And so I think we're just going to uh, maybe go to Starbucks or something, grab a little Java. We'll get back to you in just a second, man. Grande Nitro cold brew, check. Sandwich, breakfast, check. Bonafide yaks. We about ready to hit the water. Current time, four minutes early. All right, we figured out nobody was coming to open that gate, so we just found an alternative entrance to the place. Lux, say good morning. Alrighty then, we were talking to homie in the Bobcat over here, and he's like, they didn't give you all the code to the gate? No. We thought the we thought the soccer fields were closed. <laughs> and he's like, oh, it's this, this, that, and the other. And we're like, oh, sweet. Gate code. Can we just roll through the grass? Yeah, just drive through the grass. So <laughs> Okay guys, update, the yaks are in the water. We just drove both vehicles to the pickup location miles down. We are gonna do an all out float today. It's gonna be absolutely sick. John is just grabbing the last of his goodies, getting the pup, and we are gonna take off. 7.20 a.m. right now. The day started for me at 3 a.m. I felt like I got plenty of sleep. I actually got some good sleep last night. Uh, woke up, got around, drove over to John's house, loaded up one of the two kayaks into the truck, and then boom, we made our way here. So we've been up for three and four hours already this morning. We just cannot wait to get to fishing, and we have nothing but open water ahead of us. It's going to be a good old time. Y'all just learned from my mistakes today, and we'll probably have a good episode for you. On our way, I'll get back to y'all at first cast. That's where they're at. All right, guys, first little bit of four-wheel drive off-roading. Oh, man. I think a little gill was running with it. That's probably as good a spot as any, honestly, because the tree kind of dips. Oh, bite. Yeah, I'm also on that tree, though. It was... Oh, that was a bass, huh? I might, nah, I might not have been, but oh well, Ned Rig could just kind of throw this guy in there. He'll get hit. A quick pit stop, switching, or not switching, but grabbing some extra plastics. I'm gonna keep up in the front with me from a T rig. Mother. <laughs> Don't. There we go. First one. On the Bandito. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yep, first one of the day on the Bandito bug with low battery, whoa. First one of the day for me guys, just heading under this bridge right here. Uh, we've been at it for a solid hour or so. Yeah, and uh, I haven't got too much in the way of bites. John got that frogfish real quick. And check out the, is that called the lateral line? Yeah, lateral so line. So the lateral line, line on this guy. above it, but that's just like a green line. That okay, like, yeah. well the, yeah. so the line on this guy <laughs> looks pretty prominent and a healthy fish, like yeah. fat, like fat for his size. You wouldn't think it coming out of stuff like this. Right, and it came on the bandito bug, so kudos to the Guggen baits, you guys. You know those are always linked in the description. Drop them in and let's try and take advantage of the rest of the shade before it gets way too hot and snag some more river monsters. Throw it back right here. Oh, oh psych! <laughs> <laughs> we have found ourselves at the third little checkpoint here, if I'm not mistaken. About the third time we've hit some land. You can see it's just an island that cuts over the entire creek, so we lift the kayaks out, dip them in on the other side, and continue on. A few bites apiece. We've been getting some bluegill pecks and stuff, but just a couple solid bass hits. This next little zone looks pretty good. I might fish it from the bank for half a second. Do we have one? We got, got one! 
Oh, good one. Good one, two pounder. Two and a half, maybe. On the jig, there we go. Whoa, dude. Two and a half, I bet. There we go, you guys. That's a two and a half to three pounder right there. She's skinny is the problem. Big old mouth though. Jig fish bandito bug trailer. This is actually one of those diesel hard hat jigs by Ketchco. Um, crushing it. It's got, I, I believe, and I might be wrong, it's 3 16 ounce. Uh, so it's got just the right fall. And with the flutter of the tail on this bandito bug, it's really getting their attention, I found, with that cast right there. But if I'm not mistaken, this one hit it while I was swimming it a little bit. Uh, I'm kind of like, and I'm going to have to, obviously, you guys know exactly what I was doing, but I'm going to rewatch this GoPro footage and see how this one hit because uh, I think it might have been as I was just kind of swimming it. And so that might mean we should be throwing something like, I'd say, a chatterbait, uh, black and blue, um, and vary things up. Maybe they're hitting the moving stuff, and that's why we're not getting too much action because we've been focused just on top water and some bottom stuff like Sankos, etc. I might do a black and blue chatterbait here in a second. Definitely thank John for taking me out, man. He's got us hooked up in the bona fide kayaks and whatnot. Super sick. Oh, well, sorry to give you a headache on the way out, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Another one? Nope, that was a quick sit down, though. I ran into a tree. Okay, guys, just got the chatterbait tied on since I'm thinking they might be looking up a little bit. Fish something moving for a minute. I'm going with the Bandito Bug trailer, which I frequently will do on these chatterbaits. Um, it just, the tail has such a good flutter. I think Flair might even recommend crack and crawls. I'll probably try that in a minute because I think this is my last Bandito Bug in black and blue color. There you go, that's a good looking chatterbait to me. And just some pointers for you guys. If you go out yak fishing, bring some water, bring a hat, bring some sunscreen, you know, have all your essentials because you're not gonna be able to just walk back to the truck real quick. And <laughs> try and find one with rod holders that hold the sticks vertically because it's gonna be very challenging in a small kayak. This one's definitely decked out. But if you just got a small kayak and you're trying to have all kinds of rods up, there we go, two vertical rod holders, always be looking out for the trees because they will take out your rods. One of the best pieces of advice is just making sure you've got everything you think you will need tied on. So maybe like one top water, one moving bait, one bottom bait, you know. Uh, come prepared in that sense because when you're on the water, it's much more difficult to try and just be tying all this random stuff on uh, on the fly. Because you probably got gear behind you, gear in front of you, everything's tucked away. It's there if you need it, but it's not there just like readily available at your fingertips like normal so it's kind of a pain in the butt breaking out the pliers getting the scale out extra plastics just have it all lined up right where you need it and that's uh, kayak fishing pointers with Weston let's try and get some more fish oh 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 no and the reason I went for it before like knowing that he had it is because I felt like I was getting a couple more bites back there like like pickups and then drop like pickups and then drop so i'm like you know what screw it yeah yeah no i, I agree this must be the popular oh 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 oh, oh dude oh dude <laughs> that was so unexpected oh my god oh, look oh my god my oar my oar we'll get back to that this one's fatter than the last since we didn't weigh the last one y'all this one's fatter but definitely not as like nowhere near as big Let's just put them on the scale so we've got one for you guys on the video. Officially weighed. We we're at two pounds, two ounces. Me and John were just BS, and then all of a sudden I feel a little weight. Just like the last one, man. Kind of like in that black and blue color. Moving nice and slow, I guess. So, a little shimmer of that chatterbait blade, I guess, gets it done with the doink. Bandito bug trailer, y'all. Sick. Yeah, right at the boat, dude. I, I had no clue. And speaking of, where's my oar? If I had to call John from across the freaking creek to uh, save the day, and grab the stick. Oh man. Whew. That thing was just off the bank out in the middle of nowhere too. Just like random hit. You gotta have eyes in the sky. Trees will eat you up. Oh, got one. Oh, he came off. Yep, had it. Dude, he was swimming. S swimming with it. It felt pretty good, yep. Just off that point, kind of. Where are the fish? Oops. Oh. Yes. I don't think he's got it. That was a good bump. 
I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my god. That was a good hit. I need a new bug on here. Disappointed I missed that bite. Jesus, that's a huge spider. Okay. Ah, this thing's huge. Oh my god, there's like five spiders on me. Get the off of me. What the hell is going on? God. Ah. Yes, they're everywhere. Hello? Oh, there's like, yeah, I was stuck up against a tree. Anyways. Oh, that's a relief. Jeez, there's a huge one on the, look, FaceTime. Do you see him? I don't even see it. Look, see him? No, 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 no. He's huge and there's a lot of them. Okay, gotta go. Love you. Alright, love you. Bye. Bye. Quickly, this has turned into a kayak survival mission. Forget the fish. Everything's looking good. And then, about five hours in, floating downstream, realized we got another 50% of this yak mission to go, and once you know it, we found our first true player as far as obstacles in the course. Uh, I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna turn around. There seems to be a small little cut over here. And I think we're just gonna put the rods down and give this thing uh, all the YouTubers call the full send right now. It's trending, I think. <laughs> John and uh, Lucky are going first. They'll clear the spiders, and I will follow through. Oh, on this side? No, it's not happening. Try and push some of that. See what happens when you try and push that a few times. Absolutely nothing, or maybe it's like breakable. Oh my goodness. Stop the clock. Four minutes, 35 seconds. Record time, 30 seconds flat. <laughs> it has been done. John's second fish of the day. Well, if that don't get you excited, that was a huge frog. Shallow close by it, so. Super dope. Like four stories up from the water. Woo! We're just like exhausted over here. Dude, let's catch some fish. It's getting nuts. <laughs> that ain't happening. Guys, these are getting more frequent and sketchier and sketchier. Floating down the river. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna lead a do, do, do. Hey, you think you can hand me that sandal? Right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Just give her the old toss. Thank you. All right, y'all, what an adventure. Holy smokes, we made it. What seems like 10, 15 miles of freaking stream over here. Many roadblocks along the way. Not really a ramp to get the kayaks out, so we kind of just <laughs> yanked it up on the bank to close this thing out. Got them loaded up, though. We are all finished for the day, man. Got to thank John B. for letting Woo. us use that bona fide yak. We cranked on them. Three, four fish a piece. That's fine. Plenty. <laughs> Until next time, you guys. Appreciate y'all watching this one. And... <laughs> I left you hanging for a minute. Till next time. <gasps>